Werner Herzog's films have taken him across the world through vast and often dangerous terrain. During his journeys, he captures the thoughts, beliefs, and experiences of others, and through this spectacle, he creates narratives that illustrate his perspective of the world. He achieves this through the usage of participatory mode in documentary, which is defined by Nichols as the heavy involvement of the filmmaker with their social actors, and I quote, participation in shaping what happens before the camera. Today I'll be exploring key aspects as well as the truth claims of two of Herzog's most renowned documentaries, Grizzly Man 2005 and Encounters at the End of the World 2007. In participatory documentary, interviews play an absolute crucial role in the construction of the narrative, as they are able to provide the audience a personal account of events. But despite this, ethical concerns are raised, as the director still holds full control over the representation of what is being said. Herzog maneuvers around this issue by inserting himself into the narrative, as well as creating a trust with the audience in a nuanced fashion. In Encounters at the End of the World, Herzog interviews numerous people over this film, often talking about their lives and hardships that they've experienced. This personal aspect depicts a sense of trust the subjects have with Herzog. In one interview, Herzog asks a man named Libor Zika to recall his escape from the Soviet Union. You do not have to talk about it. Okay. In this scene, Herzog's empathy towards Zika showed the audience his trustworthiness and portrayed him as a, and I quote, sensitive and gentle director. In Grizzly Man, the same can be seen here, in an interview with Treadwell's ex-girlfriend, Joel Pavlok. Here, Herzog is shown listening to the tape of Treadwell's death in front of Pavlok. And similar to Zika, this scene shows Pavlok's connection and trust she has with Herzog, as well as his empathy towards her. This emotional interview also further helps the audience to justify Herzog's right to the creation of this film. Now, I'll be looking at a truth claim that can be seen in countless documentaries directed by Herzog, which is that the beauty of nature comes with a cruel and brutal indifference. In Grizzly Man, Herzog's opinion, which differs from Treadwell, is made clear in the film. Here, I differ with Treadwell. He seemed to ignore the fact that in nature there are predators. I believe the common denominator of the universe is not harmony, but chaos, hostility, and murder. Herzog does this in a respectful and kind manner and often compliments Treadwell in some aspects. Beyond a wildlife film, in his material lay dormant a story of astonishing beauty and depth. Elizabeth Henry states, To Herzog, nature is dangerous. The great divide between nature and culture is cold and broad and dangerous to cross. Herzog's filmic choices, his voiceover narration, mysterious and morbidly atmospheric musical score, and heavy-handed editing style tells us at least as much about Herzog as about Treadwell. In Encounters at the End of the World, this notion of the indifference of nature is present as well. As Herzog travels the vast continent of Antarctica, he captures the harshness and cruelty of the environment. Exposed skin might actually create frostbite instantaneously. Throughout, he shows what the scientists and explorers constantly endure. But, however, unlike Treadwell, the subjects in this film understand and respect this indifference. Uh, it's, it really is a, a violent, horribly violent world. Uh, Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.